Welcome to PC Wits Kits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Sapphire HD 6670 Ultimate Edition graphics card. I reviewed the Sapphire 6670 with the fan. This one is fanless, so it's the silent edition really. But it's ultimate because it also comes with the Game Dirt 3. It also comes with an HDMI cable and a VGA adapter. Okay, so if you have an older monitor. Now, looking at the card itself, because it's fanless, zero noise, you got a heat sink and some heat pipes there to dissipate the heat. That's about it. Okay, it's a dual slot card design as you can see. Okay, requires no power connectors as you can see also from the back. Has a nice sapphire logo, nice and shiny at the top. Okay, if I put this down here for a second you can see the plated heat pipes. Okay. On the other side for the outputs you've got the DVI out, display port out, and the HDMI out, of course. Okay, so that'll keep you busy for any type of monitor or iFinity setup. Now, when it comes to um, benchmarks, I've installed this in a mainstream PC. Okay, so an Athlon 2 quad core running at 2.6 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, uh, an SSD drive to just slap on some Windows 7 on there and do some benchmarks. Okay, and that's the type of machine more or less that you would run this on. Here it is in GPU Z, the specifications on this Turks uh, codenamed GPU. You can see it's a 128 bit uh, bus width, which is, you know, more of an entry level, but still 800 megahertz is very good and 1000 megahertz on the memory. Okay, now when it comes to temperatures, when it's on idle, about 38 degrees Celsius. And then when we run this at full load, it's about 55 degrees Celsius here. Okay, that's what it's running. Now there's no fan, even though GPU Z says that there's a fan speed there. Ignore that. Okay, there is no fan, obviously, so it's very quiet on this Ultra Edition. And um, running some benchmarks again for this card. First benchmark that I usually run this is 3D Mark Vantage and I look at the GPU score 6315 comparing that to other cards that I've tested and this card is obviously faster than the previous generation 5670 so that's great we've seen improvements here in the frames per second and the speed and the rendering not as fast as the 5770 though but still this is the silent edition it's not really meant for overclocking okay you could overclock it but it's not really meant for that here's the 3D Mark 11 score the P1 711 for those of you that are interested in that new benchmarking standard that's out now and uh, Haven benchmark 2.5 here are two common resolutions that a lot of you have in your monitors okay you can see there the minimum average and maximum frames per second on that when it comes to some games yes I did run some benchmarks on games Final Fantasy for example benchmark they have two resolutions again to test the games and I tested the uh, low resolution first and this is the score that I got from that benchmark. And then after that, I tested it on the higher resolution, the 1920 times 1080. And again, there is the score. So that's for you to compare if you're interested. And here is Stalker for those of you that are familiar with that game. And again, the benchmarks at two different resolutions. You can see here on the 1680 times 1050 resolution on high, DirectX 11 enabled, of course. Those are the frames per second per each um, rendered scenes. And then here is the results for the 1920 times 1080 uh, benchmarks again with Stalker. Going on to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, you can see again at these two resolutions, 4AA, high settings, very good. Obviously, this is an older game, but still, very smooth results that I'm getting here on high settings. On some of the older games, or newer games, depending on what you, you're, you're playing, you might have to change the settings to medium, sure right to get higher frames per second usually you want to get 30 frames per second or more when you play games so that way you can see smooth transitions between things and fast rendering but overall terrific card very quiet temperatures didn't go above 55 degrees Celsius definitely recommend that okay keeps your system cool and quiet and I'd like to thank Sapphire for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching